good evening once again. And this week's match of the day comes from Boundary Park, Oldham. Now, throughout the season, we've shown you the exciting battle for the First Division Championship. We've shown you the exciting cup ties on the road to Wembley. But there's a lot of football goes on in the third and fourth divisions of the Football League. And now we're seeing how tough it is at the bottom of the third division. Because Oldham Athletic have been struggling against relegation all season, but they've now got a new dynamic chairman, and they are trying to rebuild what was once a very famous club. Now, if we have a look at the two teams, we'll see, first of all, when we look at the Oldham side, some very famous names there. Dennis Stevens, who, until a short time ago, was with Everton, a present the Cup winner. That then is the Oldham Athletic side. And in the Oxford United side, there are four former Wolverhampton Wanderers players, Barron, Bevan, Kyle, and Harrington. And the two Atkinsons, Ron at number four, and Graham at number ten, are brothers. Well, just how important is this game to Oldham Athletic? The best man surely to answer that is Jimmy McElroy, the Oldham Athletic manager. Well, it's so important, Ken, that I've got a one-way ticket booked to Timbuktu. <laughs> Seriously, um, we need two points to be safe. We've got a, a very good chance of getting them today. But, um, we have another chance on Wednesday, but I can't stand the strain much longer. We must get them today. Well, so we know. The chips are down. Oldham must win this afternoon against Oxford United to stay in the third division. So, what a setup for the match of the day this week. Oldham Athletic versus Oxford United. Oldham Athletic have the chance of starting this all-important game themselves. They've got to play against the wind, and it's a little nostalgic for me to look at that number 10, Albert Quitzall, the former Sheffield Wednesday Manchester United player, because it's many years ago that I saw a little fella called Albert Quitzall play here for the county of Cheshire in um, the Schoolboys International, or a Schoolboys County match. Oxford United, remember, in the dark shorts. There's nothing really to play for, but they're not going to allow um, Oldham to get two easy points. And this is dead number 11. So not quite strong enough in that one. The ground, despite the fact it's been raining hard this morning, firm, the ball looks very lively. And both teams having difficulty getting this ball under control. Now, dear. Field for corner, but the referee, Mr. Rhodes of York, who's come in as a substitute for Mr. Grundy of Grimsby, there he is, Mr. Rhodes of York. Goal kick. He's given to Oxford United. There's Jim Barron signing from Chelsea. Harrington across to Ron Atkinson, his captain. Two Atkinsons in this Oxford team. Number four, Ron Atkinson. Number ten, Graham. And there's Stevens for Oldham. For the Everton and Bolton player, this is Asprey. Oldham, of course, playing under a great nervous strain. That's a good ball to Hale. Lincoln did and went dangerously near to Shuka, didn't it? Harrington, cricket to Oldham Athletic. Kick can be taken by Ledger, the right fullback. Certainly. Oxford seem to have the advantage in height and weight in this match. This is Hale, the inside right of Oxford. It's a good ball to Shuka. Now Quicksaw. Quicksaw 
Telegraph that one. Now ties. Again, an appeal for a corner. This time it is allowed, and Oldham get a corner. Corner to Oldham, going to be taken by Ian Towers. And there's Silo Bevan, the right back, standing on the goalward side of his goalkeeper. Quicksall, dead and coming up. Oh, a great save by Barrett. No, the referee's given a goal kick. And there's Jim Barron. I thought he touched that one. The referee says he didn't. So it's a goal kick. Jim Barron, who is wearing all green as the Chelsea goalkeepers wear. So he's obviously brought the Chelsea goalkeeping passions along to Oxford with him. Ledger for Oldham. Law. And yet another corner for Oldham Athletic. All the pressure being kept on Oxford. Well, now you can see, you could see number nine and number 11 have come back to reinforce the defense. Stevens trying to place that one for Bloor, who was caught offside. Free kick to Oxford United. That could have been a nasty one. Farley, boom, refusing to be tamed. Oh, bad one putting Bloor in possession. A good ball to Frizzle, now the outside left. Dearden. There's Dearden, he's going to score. Well, he did And there, Ron Atkinson, blaming his own goalkeeper, but Full marks to Billy Dearden for persisting areas. Billy Dearden. There he is, number 11, Billy Dearden, the scorer. Eight minutes gone. Oldham Athletic in the lead, 1-0. That make case of persistence paying off. And here comes Ola. Playing some football quality rather higher than one expects from a team at the bottom of the third division. Graham Atkinson for Oxford. Very, very big team, uh, Oxford. Miss Quicksaw. Oh, I don't think Charles has got that speed. Incidentally, is Arthur Turner, who 
gained fame as the Birmingham City manager, took them to Wembley well, about ten years ago, wasn't it? Throw to Oxford. Quicksall to Stevens. Oh, a good bit of football by Stevens, who's now limped away. I think he got a painful crack. Ten minutes gone, and Oldham on the attack and leading 1-0. Oh, dead in that time, and Tuki moved inside. Now it's with Bowie. His left back is moving up inside him, Holden. Dead and sticking on his wing. Here's Dead. Oh, it's a good ball. Grizzle just caught on the wrong foot and also caught offside. time we see the goalkeepers but both of them are wearing gloves so the ball must be a bit wet and slippery and now a chance for Oldham is Grizzle the the ball second goal from Floor there's the centre forward and captain Jim Grizzle tuned 11 minutes gone, 2-0 for Oldham. And the Oxford United defence is as wide open as the old prairies. On two occasions now, the Oxford defence has been torn apart, torn into shreds and the goalkeeper Baron has been left with there's no hope at all it's by for Oldham it should be now that safety is within Oldham's grasp this is Quicksaw that is Stevens coming back to cover in defense. Now, Atkinson. And now this is the outside left. Harrington for Oxford. The other Atkinson, Graham Atkinson. Oh, there was a chance there for Morris. Just wasn't in his right stride. There's number seven, Michael Morris. Goal kick to Oldham Athletic. There seems to be a push in the back, yes. Bevan penalised for that push into Dedham's back. Free kick to Oldham Athletic. And it's the left fullback. Holden to take it. Oldham will be able now to play more relaxed football. Pressure off them. Off them a bit anyway. Then. Two up. And Oxford United looking rather a ragged team. Especially in defence. This is Quicksall. Harrington with a chance to break for Oxford. Moving round, thinking that he ought to get a free kick, but the referee's not giving him one. This is Burton, the hero of the first goal. To Frizzle, the hero of the second. Now Quicksall. And Stevens moving up. That was a bit of lovely football. The old vintage quicksaw coming out then. Tires and Stevens keeping close to him. A 
Harrington coming away for Oxford. Uh, Asprey back to his right fullback ledger. Oxford trying to force Oldham into errors, but Oldham playing a safety first game, and who can blame them? Lovely move to Quicksall. And Taz. Well, it looks as if Oldham could run up quite a cricket score against this Oxford defence, but it's relief for Oxford now in the shape of a free kick given against Stevens. There's Albert Quicksall, number 10. Still a player with keen footballing brain. Anticipated that one all right. Now Bevan. Bevan, number two for Oxford. Well, it's no good if everybody leaves it to everybody else. Hale. A beautiful bit of football by Holden. Now it's Quicksall. Quicksall will want to slow the game down a bit. Holden don't want to hurry anything. Now Morris and here comes Hale, the former Coventry City player. Oh, nobody watching the left halfback, Jones. Goal kick to Oldham. Typical Oldham skyline there with the mill in the background. Oh, there seems to be far too much optimism in that Oxford defence then, but it's Ledger now coming away with it for Oldham. And Ron Atkinson, who used to play for Aston Villa, finding now Ken Hale, who used to play for Coventry City. And the man making the break is the outside left, Harrington. This is Hale, number eight. In the centre of the pitch, the ground is quite firm. Some parts of it, it's quite soft after the morning rain. The ball very lively, a test of no class ball control. Sort of pitch which sorts out the men from the boys. And at the moment, too many boys in the Oxford side. Here's Harrington, number 11 for Oxford. Ledger. I love this long ball for the striking forwards to chase. Frizzle, the centre forward. And I now hope of getting that one. Keep it up, Nancy. Well, I wonder whether Stevens meant to do that. Tackle by the left half Bowie. Oh, lovely bit of football. Bowie to his left back Holden. Quick saw. Back to Bowie, number six.
Asprey taking that one rather easily. And that's the sort of strange stuff we've been seeing from some of these Oxford defenders. Miss kicks. Quicksall. Quicksall foul. There's Albert Quicksall looking rather shocked at that foul. Rather annoyed that what could have been a good goal was ruined by a foul. So it's a free kick to Ox uh, to Oldham taken by Oldham. no link at all between defence and attack for Oxford. He never sees any movement flowing from the rear from their own goal mouth up into the Oxford, uh, the Oldham goal mouth. 20 minutes left of the first half. 2-0, Oldham in the lead. And who can climb up to that one? Quick all. Oh, a great save by Barron. Could only have had a split second to have seen that one. And it was certainly moving. Corner to Oldham. And it's being taken by Towers. Oh, Barron. Lucky to get that one at the second attempt. I knew he was severely harassed when he went up for the ball. See how strong the wind is carrying that ball at a great rate of knots. kick to Oldham Athletic. This is Asprey. Asprey forward to Stevens. Playing a bit coolly at the moment. Floor. Eight. And Frizzell coming up to help him. This is Hale. Hale, the best front player of Oxford in this match. And Hale once again. Shuka, number nine, Oxford. And here's Ron Atkinson, number four, with five minutes of the first half left, not counting injury time. Oh, and he almost caught Swan unawares. That was a cute one by Ron Atkinson. Well, he's been in the game long enough. He's, he was born in Liverpool. He's been with Oxford seven seasons. Previously was with Aston Villa. Goal kick to... Oldham Athletic. Away you go. Oldham again. Coming back now to put the pressure on Oxford in the dying seconds of the first half. Law the inside right. Throw to Oldham. Ledger, loading one across, tall defenders, perfect for them. Jones in a spot of bother, 
So here come Oldham. Oldham again. Floor. In comes. Bowie. Ron Atkinson for Oxford. It's Graham Atkinson, number 10. Stevens, still a cool customer. Number 10, Quicksaw. Comes Ledger. Now there was no one following up. No oh, blow. Little did he expect. There's, there's Blow, Reggie Blow, the inside right. I'm sure he never expected such a present. Goal kick to Oxford as the referee looks at his watch. There goes the whistle for half-time with Oldham Athletic leading Oxford United two goals to nil. Two very precious goals. And so Oldham going at half-time, feeling very confident of safety now they've got the two precious goals lead. But they still can't relax because with a player like Ken Hale against them, Oxford United still have the ability to snatch at least one point from Oldham if Oldham relax at all. And one thing Oldham can't do, and that is give away a point today. They set to the better side so far in this first half and look as if they're well on the way to a third division safety. Mr. Rose of York checks his watches. Oxford United start the second half and Oldham Athletic are just 45 minutes from safety. And immediately, Holden giving a free kick to Oxford for hands. You probably noticed the linesman on the far side was signalling that he'd been pushed. But the referee shook his head to that one, gave the free kick to Oxford. The fair head fellow moving forward now is the man Oldham have got to watch. Ken Hale, number eight. It's about the one man, I think, who could engineer Oldham's downfall. Better goalkeeping by Swan. What a good clearance up to Dead. Jones. Jones to Ron Atkinson. Jones, number six, playing much better in the second Come half for Oxford. Like Oxford looking a better side. Harrington. Harrington, number 11. A bit of football. Oh, Graham Atkinson. It's Graham, there's Graham Atkinson, brother of the right half and captain. Floor for Oldham, being chased by Morris, the outside right. Nice bit of football by number six, Jones. Done well in the second half. There's Morris. Hale and Ron Atkinson coming to join in the fun. In now to Hale. And Jones. 20 minutes of the... Second half gone, and away goes Bowie for Oldham, who lead 2-0. Bowie now up to Bloor. In comes Dayton, offside, I think, yes. A decision which doesn't meet with unanimous approval. There's Dayton, Billy Dayton, the outside left. Now then, here's Kyle. Number five for Oxford. And Hale making ground down the right wing. Nobody going with him. But Hale seems to have lost a bit of his edge now. It's 
spirit of great relief. Cut about the Oldham play, but now it's lost its edge, its urgency. But at least it wins a free kick for obstruction. Referee insistent. The ball being returned to Quicksall, and there's the signal for the indirect free kick. And it's Quicksall to take this free kick, from which a goal cannot be scored direct. Great screams from offside from the Oxford defenders. Not needed. Here's Harrington. Ron Atkins. Now Bloor making the break for Oldham. It's a throw in. And the crowd applauding Dearden for going after that ball. So many players at this stage of the season would have been content to have let it gone out of play. Here come Oxford moving on to the attack. Bellum there, right full back. Jones will get it into the middle. And Asprey, what a beautiful play. It's one of the best things in the match. Though. To Dearden. Also coming up alongside him. Long run to Towers. Towers now to Bloor. Chance for goal number three. Well, Reg Bloor, haven't we all done that at one time or other? Kick with both legs. Never works. Goal kick then to Oxford United. <laughs> Oxford's throw, without a doubt, says Mr. Rhodes. Bevanley right back. Mm. Now Jones. Ooh, what a man. Put in a spot of bother by Skipper then. Still Oldham playing out of the bother quite nicely. Goal kick. Two goals to nil, Oldham Athletic in the lead. That one from Bowie. Not it. Billy Dearden was number 11, a little optimistic, I think, shooting from that range. Still, he's shown himself to be a spirited player, got one of the goals. afternoon the sound a very fitful spectator at this match keeps coming and then going away for a bit and then coming back again 
Now here's Morris for Oxford. Shuka to Hale. Oh, a corner. Well, Oldham have taken the second half much too easily. Nothing like the team they were in the first half. Hale with the corner. And Frizzle, the centre forward, coming away for Oldham to Taz. Comes Ledger. Crowd, I think, wanted to sit and gain more ground, but they kept possession, which is the main thing. Quicksall. Oh, Barron's missed it, it hit the bar. What a lucky let-off for Oxford. Ah, oh, Frizzle. So as time runs out, Oldham can feel happier and happier and happier. Shuka. Graham Atkinson. And Bevan now. Oldham falling back to pack in defence. Jones. Atkinson, Von Atkinson, a lovely one to Hale. Oh, a beautiful effort by Hale. Great goal that would have been, but no goal, a goal kick to Oldham. There's Hale. Splendid volley of his. Deserved a goal. But didn't get one. From the end. And Taz winning a corner. Five minutes to go. Oldham lead 2 0. And Bloor going across to take the corner kick. Somebody. Not ten yards from the ball, one Oxford player, not ten yards from the ball. Heinzman not satisfied. A goal by Taz! Oh, that was a cheeky one. My goodness, the referee, Mr. Rhodes, as good as that policeman last week at Wembley. So, Taz has scored with... Four minutes to go, the little boys invade the pitch. There's Tars, Ta the man who has made safety certain. Well, happy youngsters, now they'll be watching third division football again next season. That was a cheeky enough goal by Tars, just sneaking it in like that, but they all can't. Fine piece of opportunism. Well, that clinches it, no doubt now. Oldham, four minutes left, three goals up. So they've well and truly got the two points they needed. Jones for Oxford. This is Morris. There's Morris, number seven, there, out, outside right. Michael Morris has realised now that there is no chance of um, getting even a point for his club. There's two minutes to go. 
And Graham Atkinson now for Oxford. And a hold and finding Dearden. Dearden got floored there with him. He's also got Frizzle. And <laughs> Barron never expected a shot from there. Never in a month of Sundays. That could have been a sensational enough fourth goal. Ron Atkinson to Brother Graham. To weave it slow. This is all And a free kick. A foul by Quarterman. No reason at all, just doing this for a pushing. So, with a minute left for play. Free kick two. Oldham Athletic. It's all knowing that time is very much on this team's side. I thought he was going to... Crick's all going to take it. <laughs> Graham Atkinson. And Asprey now to... Law. Frizzell. Dearden waiting in the middle. The towers. turn pass and he's still running down that right wing everybody now ignoring him as he goes out to floor what could be the last act of the game a corner to Oldham Athletic this is floor There's an awful lot of offside around the free kick to Oxford United. That's the referee then, Mr. Rose, having a look at his watch as the whistle goes for the end of the match, which Oldham Athletic have one rise, three goals to nil, and to join in the television celebration, all the young supporters of Oldham Athletic, one of them waving the Greek flag. And those youngsters have something to celebrate because Oldham Athletic are safe for another season of third division football. And we wait now to see whether they can, as they promised to do, rebuild their team and try and bring back some of those glorious days of the past. They played today with a bit of tension on early on, but once they got those two goals, they were able to relax, knowing full well that they were probably home and dry, and then they managed to get the third near the end to win this match of the day against Oxford United 3-0. And with that score, may I remind you, we'll have another match of the day for you next Saturday. Till then, good night.